Now, before accepting the engagement, before accepting the engagement, the auditor shall conduct a number of procedures that will enable them to either accept or decline the engagement. These procedures will entail such matters as uh, consider considerations relating to practice, mat practice matters, uh, considerations relating to ethical matters, considerations relating to legal matters, and also now what you call professional uh, clearance. So to start with the practice matters, the auditor shall consider a number of issues relating to the practice or the firm so that they can be able to understand whether it's possible to accept or, con or continue the audit engagement. Such matters will include the size of the firm as compared to or vis-a-vis -vis the size of the client. What is the size of the client and what's the size of the firm? If we continue uh, or accept the engagement, are we capable of conducting this audit based on the complexity or the size of the client and the size of our firm? Number two will be in the issue of uh, resources. Do we have the necessary resources to conduct this audit? For example, if the client has e-commerce or they have um, uh, sophisticated information technology, do we have the tools that will enable us to conduct an audit in such an environment? Number three, we'll have to look at issues to deal with our personnel. Do we have competent and experienced personnel who can be able to conduct this audit and are they available? 